What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy and that strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, so real quick background here. God definitely gonna catch me up if I ain't caught myself up to things. <laughs> he gonna always bring it to me, so let's jump into it. November 18, 2023, dream I had pieced together some of the warnings God was putting on me for the U.S. with all these different attacks and so forth and whatever situations he was talking about. So he used my former job and task at UPS as a sorter to basically present the different areas and locations to make a long story short. But the second part of this dream, he gave me intersections. And I noticed, oh wait, intersection, intersection, intersection. So I'm like, what are you talking about God, right? So come to find out the protests got so crazy that it ended up interrupting the traffic on highways and closing highways and causing issues. And I'm like, oh, that's a pretty simple and easy one. You were just warning of the disruptions and how bad things are going to get with this tension and how people are riling up people to do and disrupt everyday life. Got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's just a real quick one. I just didn't catch. I've been so busy. So I'm going to take you all to the prior word and then the event. Peace and blessings. And I will catch you all in the next one. So another part of this was the Lord showing me numbers that went along with the certain states. So I only saw numbers for like Indiana and Michigan, right? So Indiana, actually 69 would have went in that, that green slot, which made a lot of sense. Like it made sense as if I was doing my job. But then I thought about it, Indiana, 69, interstates. So travels, interstates, routes was what the Lord was showing me. Then I seen Michigan 26 and 29. So he was just showing me all these different routes of highways. And then I saw interstate 65 for Indiana and stuff like that. So God was showing me routes and travels as if something was moving or something was in the process of moving or being done or, you know, routes is what the Lord was showing me as well and tied my attention to, because I would have never came up with that personally. He started giving me downloads. So this was a more advanced download, y'all. And God is being very strategic how he's telling me this, because I don't, Again, we don't always know what God's plans is and how things will unfold. We have a little okay, bit of so. video that I want to show you, if we can, of a fight that broke out uh, between protesters and uh, the drivers that were there. Uh, we uh, take a look. This, this was just about 15, 20 minutes ago. You can see here, this was before there was really any law enforcement uh, officers down there. But uh, it appears at, at least you know two men there it looked like they were fighting. I believe it was one protester, possibly one driver, uh, where we don't know what kind of words were being exchanged. Any more protesters? Protesters get their message out, sometimes in the most dramatic way possible, and they're calling for a ceasefire in Gaza by stopping traffic on a busy freeway in the middle of rush hour. Needless to say, commuters were not amused. Protesters shut down a major Los Angeles freeway today, bringing the morning rush hour commute to a standstill. Yes, I'm not going to work today. Here we are. They linked arms across the 110 freeway downtown, leading to tense moments as frustrated commuters exited their cars to confront them. The protesters belonged to a Jewish group calling for a ceasefire. They placed a Hanukkah menorah in the middle of the freeway. Stopping traffic like this incident on the Brooklyn Bridge in New York last month has become a recurring tactic of anti-war rallies. It's a dangerous strategy, hijacking highways to get attention. The latest happening on Saturday when pro-Palestine protesters took over I-5. Luckily, no one was physically hurt that day, but we do know it can turn deadly. We saw it back in 2020 when BLM protesters got on I-5 and a protester was killed by a drone. 